that she's trying to portray herself to me. And now, now, when you take on sin in your life, Psalms in the first verse, oh God. David opened it up and said, Hear me when I call. Oh my God. Oh God, my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me with, oh God. Y'all have enlarged me when I was distressed. Uh, have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. In other words, in order for God to hear me, I, I must first acknowledge my wrongdoing. Right. Uh, yeah. How many folks understand that God does not in the business of blessing mess? Amen. Uh, Amen. I'm not going to tell you that God doesn't hear the prayers of a sinner. Yes. Because if he didn't, I wouldn't be Come here today. Come on, Bishop. What I will say is that once you take on, oh God, the attributes of God, once you are filled with the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, and then you slip back, oh God, uh, oh God, into an old existence until I get it right with God. God really, oh God, it's not that he doesn't hear my prayers. It's not that he doesn't, put, oh God, see my supplication, but he's kind of putting it on the side until you acknowledge first that I have transgressed. But so before I ask you to do anything, God, And suddenly an opportunity comes up out of the blue. Hallelujah. Where 
and you don't even understand where am I at. Well, that's where David was. He stepped out onto the roof of his dwelling. He was just looking to survey what was going on and happened to glance over to the right and saw Bathsheba, oh God, bathing on top, oh God, of the house. Hallelujah. Maybe he should have just went back down and got on his knees right there. But this old dirty, wretched man that I am, oh God, I think I preached it once before, that second look of kill you. Hallelujah. Oh God, I should have ran, but because there was something intrigued in my flesh, oh, the spirit was with me. But understand the flesh will get weak. I'm so tired of folk talking about how many of my flesh don't ever get weak. The devil is alive. Oh, my God. 